Okay, the vehicle's been lent to a photographer for the day. Get past security, get the car, and bring it in. Some wheels? I can bring them around. Uh, let's get her. Yeah, sure. Do I'll bring it by. All right, more security. We are clear. Nice to that time. Now, unfortunately, on these uh, photog photographer missions, they seem to usually have a uh, helicopter that comes after you. Just a real pain, especially when you're on your own in an unarmored, unarmed cargo lot. I find the trick is to stay in this area and get altitude, as we've said before. And then you've got the height to keep the speed up while you go across town to your, uh, to your car warehouse. There we go. Got our vehicle. So now I'm just kind of raising up. There's the spot right there. I'm just kind of keeping myself in the area. Not going ahead yet. Once you get too far away, they'll send the helicopter after me. And once I get too high, they're going to send the helicopter after me too. But that's okay, I prefer to be too high than, than too low. And then we should hopefully have the, the distance we need to get somewhere. Any moment now, I think. She's going to tell us, yeah, there we go, we proceed. Okay, let's go. Full speed, forward. Okay, looking for him, I can't see him, he's way down there. He's trying to gain altitude. Sometimes you can actually go through the buildings too. You can sometimes use them to your advantage. It'll deflect them, but I find oftentimes they'll actually plow right into the buildings. Because they're trying to pull up on the side of you. So you go right between the buildings and they go right into them. It's just handy. Sometimes they just spawn another mind you. So maybe it's not so good. Maybe it's best to just let them be alive, but way back there where you can't do anything. Across town, losing altitude. Thankfully, we got a whole bunch of altitude at the beginning there. He's back there, so we could probably let off a little bit. I don't want to. Yeah. Two buildings.
or in front of your uh, warehouse, wherever your warehouse would be, right around this area here. They usually let off on you. There we go, we're good. Another Reaper delivered and ready for sale. Alright, so in this photographer mission, car sourcing from a photographer <laughs> mission, this one we're going to the Grand Sonora Desert. Here we are. Got spawns as you get close, apparently. So there it is, right over there. And I don't get this one too often, actually. I get the uh, the one near the beach quite often, and uh, the one near the uh, Ron uh, uh, Ron alternate wind farms. Yeah. Let's see, is this a good spot? It might be. Right there. Oh, another guy. Right there. Oh, missed him somehow. Figure it out, buddy. Yep. Now, if I haven't said it in the other ones, you can sometimes with your car go bob. Just pick up the car and go. And I've survived it many times doing it that way. But you are risking damage, and sometimes they do a lot of damage to your cargo bob, and it becomes... I've always made it, but it's been close sometimes, you know, so I can see how sometimes you might fail by not killing those guys first. But that's it, I've been able to pull it off a few times if you didn't want to waste any time. There we go. Up, up, and away. Alright, I gotta stay at the location for now while I gain some height. Maybe start turning towards my warehouse, the yellow dot on the map. And like I said, they usually send helicopters after you, so... It's a good idea to have all the height that you can get ahead of time. I don't know, I'm almost thinking I should go to the left around the hills. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see. Maybe I can make it this way. Full throttle for it. <laughs> so there, helicopter's down there. Level right, off a little bit. Keep it going. They're a lot faster than they appear. They're just down low, so they can't shoot at me. See how fast he's coming up on me, though? Yeah, cargo Bob can beat them, but generally only when you're full forward. At least when you're towing something. I don't get involved in too many chases when I'm not towing something, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, he's back there. Yeah, we made it over the hill just fine, that's good to know. Keep it out of his range just a little bit, that's good. Keep him a full forward right now. I can hear the shots. But thankfully none of them are hitting me. Yeah, the real trick is having all that altitude at the beginning. Otherwise, it's a chase where they're shooting at you almost the whole time. And it can be very, very annoying when you're flying along and they're just shooting you, shooting you, shooting you. <laughs> it's horrible. But you keep just ahead of them like this, and you're all right. I've done it many times like that. It's all about that altitude at the beginning. She goes. All right, let's try it with Cargo Bob again. Car sourcing with Cargo Bob. Generally, it works out well. And especially if you've already bought the buzzard, then if you're on the wrong mission for the Cargo Bob, you can just use the CEO menu and spawn in your buzzard. Those details on the vehicle should be with you. Get it and bring it in for storage. All repairs are charged to the company. So that's on the highway here. Their little convenience store. I think there's an animation over here too. Might have some adversaries here. We'll wait to drop the hook. There's the car. Green one right there. On our right. Drop our hook. 
light pole on our left. It might give us a problem. Let's hope it does. You don't get caught in the telephone and the hydro wires. <laughs> or else there'd be a lot more problems in this game all the time. Sometimes they, they are all by themselves, and other times they have people watching them. Looks to me like this time, this guy has somebody watching his car. Had a few different things landed and taking them out or just taking the, the uh, car and gone. And that works too. Yeah. But you take some damage potentially when they're shooting at you. So I try not to point at them too quickly because sometimes they detect it depending on their range and they freak right out. So I got a guy there. That's not good. That's just a guy. I think these two, maybe. This guy definitely. And this guy definitely too. All right, here we go. Let's start with this guy first. Boom! Boom! You two. Boom! Oh, that guy's one too. Boom! Didn't see him going. All down. Oh. Ah, he's done anyway. It said there was one more ahead, so I'm just kind of looking. But I think it was just the guy dying. I think we are good. Oh. I, I heard something. Did you guys hear that? Maybe you ran into that guy was outside was a, was a bad dude. And he might have ran inside the ammunition. That's uh, okay. You can probably still get it and go. Without even worrying about it. Without even worrying about him. Yeah, there is one guy inside. If you look on my map, there's a little red circle showing up there. But we're not even going to worry about it. We're just going to go. See you, buddy. You get to live today. <laughs> and I get the car. Good train. Your friends should have made that trade earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very useful helicopter. More useful than you would think. When used together with your muscle. Well, this car is being looked after by a professional outfit, shall we say? And they're taking it out to sea. So oh. you're going to need to airlift it out with a cargo bob. Pick up the helicopter, then pick up the car. These cargo barges, cargo bombing barges, <laughs> but car sourcing off a uh, off a barge. Yeah, I guess that's what it would be. They are probably my least favorite missions. Uh, one of them, anyway. They're rather annoying. They take time to fly all the way there. They are either a pain to swoop in and grab the uh, the vehicle under fire, or you can. Just try to snipe them, but that only works. I think there's like a few different places they show up, and generally speaking, um, it's there's one or one of those that you can't even snipe them, and it slows you down doing that, you know, killing all the guys down there. So, 
And then, after you get the car, you have to fly it over the water. Sometimes it's like things like the Roosevelt, which can be heavy. And uh, you get uh, two buzzer helicopters come spawning after you. Now, thankfully, they only use the machine guns, but still. And they did fix it, but for a while there, they had insane, <laughs> overpowered uh, uh, accuracy with the buzzards. You know, the kind of accuracy that no human would have. But uh, they did fix that, but I'd say they're still very annoying, those helicopters. They still do a lot of damage to you and shoot you up and possibly take you down if you're, depending on uh, how quick you get away. And you can fight those buzzards, the helicopters, but unfortunately there's about eight of them, so they come in waves of two. So you've got to take down two, and then another two, and then another two, and then another two, before that's done. So that takes a lot of time. Some people would rather just take the loss of money than lose the time, which, in a sense, time is money. If you've got other things to do to make you money, right? Make you more than what you would lose. So here we are. This is one of them that you can actually snipe. Actually, this is a good little spot to know, actually, for you guys. There's a, usually there's a weapon that spawns inside there. Probably not for me, because I like to pick one up. Probably already picked them all up. That's this little island right here. But there are some weapons that you can't buy in the store. Things like the uh, golf cart, golf club, and uh, I think things like the crowbar too. And they'll sometimes spawn right here. If I'm not mistaken. So it's a good little spot to know. If you guys haven't picked that up, you might want to check by here often, and it might show up for you. All right, let's switch to our heavy sniper. Some creep. Yeah, that's creep. So, Dominator, there's our car right there. That's our Reaper that we want. Bad guys. More Dominators. Alright. Ooh, these guys are bad damage. So we've saved our cargo bob some damage by killing those guys ahead of time. Oh, apparently we missed one. Not good. Let's get this and go. How is he getting that angle on me? That really bites. Because usually I'd get lots of height before I'd get away. Because now that I didn't do that, those helicopters are going to be right on me. And we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way on, on foot. Not on foot, but on the road. Just trying to get away with them, get away from these guys without the altitude. Very, very hard. Very, very, very hard. Switches that on me. I picked that one. Whoa! Oh, still zero damage for now. Come on. Let's go, Reaper. Get out of here. Yeah, now at this point we could kill another six of those, but it takes time and effort and body armor. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to just go. This is also why it's a good, uh, if you follow our how to car source only top range, I would definitely suggest that. Follow our second method from our episode uh, for how to, how to source only top range cars. And for me, I picked the Reaper, but maybe I should pick other ones like the 811. But either way, you want a good car that you like, that, uh, that handles well for times like this. You know, I'm on the road and it helps. I'm not, not sure that those guys won't catch up to me, but at least it's a little harder 
for them to do so in this than it would be in, say, the Roosevelt Valor or uh, some other top range cars that really aren't so fast or don't handle so well. Oh, I've lost those helicopters. That's uh, almost a bad thing, you know, in a sense, when you lose them. And if you guys are wondering why, it's because it spawns in the next ones, you know, those next ones that uh, we were talking about. So sometimes they don't catch up, they spawn in the next ones, and those next ones spawn in closer than the ones that were following you, if you guys know what I mean. If you do, you do a few missions like these, you get to know what I mean. That sometimes if you can keep them behind you at a certain distance and they're safe, it's actually better. You know, than, uh, than getting too far ahead and then that spawns in another one right on top of you or ahead of you or something like that. But, of course, either way is kind of taking your chances, right? But what can you do? Okay, don't be close. Good. Sometimes that gateway glitches out because, oh, they got to hit me with a couple shots just at the last bit, just to, just to kick us on the way in. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, well. I would say that was a pretty successful run. You won't be able to drive this one out of there. It's heading offshore with some pretty nasty individuals. So it's going to need an airlift. Collect a heavy lift chopper and then collect the car. So it's this one that's far away. One of my least favorite missions. The barge missions. Helps that you have a cargo bomb, like I do. Otherwise, you gotta go get one first, which takes you more time. And then it's a bit of a pain to pick it up. And there's guys that are shooting at you. You can sometimes kill them, sometimes you can it's harder than others, depending on where the barge is. There's uh, at least three locations. That's all of them. But hopefully that's enough of them. try to, in the bottom left, I'm watching the map and trying to stay right above that island, or in that area, so that the uh, enemy doesn't spawn until I'm far enough away. Now eventually when you get high enough, it spawns anyway, because I guess it considers it dead distance enough away. But at least this way, I've got a good run at trying to get away. There we go. Well, let's go. Can't even see them yet. But they're there, yeah, they're there. As long as we can book it, we might make it. But it's hard to run the buzzards in the cargo bob. Right now, pull forward. And this is where that extra altitude helps. At the beginning. Getting on us a little bit. But we still got them in the rear.
but we are getting there. Which is good, because we're losing our altitude. Car where it was coming right up. We are almost there. We arrived. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Successful evasion of the buzzards. That's not easy, I think. It's one of the few times I've gotten away without a single shot. Today we're robbing an arms dealer. Only problem, his car won't start without its immobilizer. He's okay. having a party. Go over there, find the key on one of his bodyguards, and bring it in. And try to do things quiet. 